Hi guys, um, I thought I'd do a video on your luthier phase. Um, basically, it's the time after ovulation to the um, ne your next period. Uh, a lot of people can struggle with this um, and have like a really short luthier phase. Uh, normally, they last anywhere between 10 to 14 days um, after ovulation. Uh, it's basically the time when the embryo is tried to embed and stuff like that. So basically preparing yourself for pregnancy or not. Um, but if you have a too short one, then it doesn't get a chance really to embed, um, which can be like a real bad problem. Uh, so I've written down and researched a lot of ways that you, how you can lengthen. them. Uh, we've got vitamin C, essential fatty acids like omega-3, uh, green leaf veg, eggs, coconut oil, or organic grass-fed animal products, so organic -y things like that. Uh, if you want to go in the natural way, um, there is a few options. Uh, Vitex or Chasterberry. Um, there is some pro progesterone cream. Pro I think I said that right. I know what I mean. <laughs> uh, B6 and an antioxidants. Because apparently, with the antioxidants, if you they've found that if you've got a, a low antioxidants, you can have like short lucia phase. Um. So yeah. Um. Uh, I mean, everybody's different. It normally lasts from ten to fourteen days normally. So it would just be something to be aware of if you're not already. Um. But there's a few things obviously that you can try. Um, but it's not something that I've really had a problem with. But if you have, it might be worth having a look at a few of those or asking your doctor. But yeah, I think, that's it. I think I've explained it that it's time after ovulation to your next period. I hope you've explained it anyway. Anyway, I think that's it for me. Bye.